Hey guys, so I'm back with a brand new video. It's my first video of 2014, so first and foremost, I just want to say Happy New Year to you guys. I mean, it's already January the 8th, but whatever, better late than never. Anyhow, we'll get right into this video. It's the 25 facts about me, just to let you guys know a little bit more about me if you are just newly subscribed to my channel and uh, don't know who I am. Anyways, here we go. My full name is Jason Christopher Santos, and my mom actually told me that she saw my name on a calendar. So, you know when you get, um, when you go from July, August, September, October, November, and the first letters spell out Jason, that's how she got my first name, and uh, that's my name, so Jason Christopher Santos. I currently live in Vancouver, British Columbia, but I was actually originally born in um, Winnipeg, Manitoba, all in Canada, and I actually also lived in Toronto for four years. I stand at 5 feet and 10 inches, I am Filipino, and usually when people guess that, they usually get it right off the bat. I've only ever gotten um, two other things, which is Polynesian, and that's um, when I went to Hawaii, everybody thought I was local. And then once at the gym, a woman thought that I was Vietnamese. And I don't think I have Vietnamese features, but I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> I can understand Tagalog, which is uh, the main Filipino dialect, but I can't really speak it well. I used to speak it a little bit when I was a child, but now not so much. In junior high, I was in band and I actually played the flute and the trumpet. I also took six years of piano lessons. I currently own a flute. I play none of those things, but now I play a ukulele. I don't like being in pitch darkness, like pitch black. Um, when I'm at home, or uh, well, obviously when I'm at home, but when I get up in the mornings, I usually turn on my side lamp first, and I turn these on in order. I turn on my side lamp, or my side table, uh, my bedside table, I turn that on, and then I turn on my bedroom light, then when I open my bedroom door, I turn on the bathroom light, then from the bathroom I go to the kitchen and turn the kitchen light on, then I go back to the bathroom and take a shower. And then that's how I usually do that. Every morning, it's the same routine, I have to turn on each light because I don't like being in the dark. I personally don't like the winter months, not because it's cold outside, but because the days are a lot darker. I start my days off in the dark and I have to end my days in the dark because the days are so short. I get up really early and it's dark and I get home and it's already dark. I'm completely comfortable sleeping in the cold, uh, with a blanket of course. I'll sleep in the cold with a blanket, but I would prefer that over sleeping with the heat on with more blankets. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I like the cold. I am very easily scared, um, not as in if somebody comes up and scares me, but I get scared of a lot of things really easily, especially during the Hall like around Halloween I get scared a lot easier, although I do like talking about scary things. I know I was talking to my friend once about like these um, rumors about trees and like where he's from, and then for the good, a good solid month, I couldn't look up at trees. I would walk home, especially in October, it's dark already, I would walk home staring at my feet because I didn't want to look at a single tree. I think it was when I was about 12 or 13, maybe older or maybe a little younger, I don't know. 12, 13, I had to be rushed to the emergency room because I was accidentally pushed into a glass table and ended up having to get 52 stitches on my um, right thigh and then I had to get six stitches on my pinky. I'd show you the scars. I mean, the pinky you can't really see because of the lighting and because it's not focusing, but on my thigh, which I'm not going to show you, I've got like a half moon shaped cut or a scar from the stitches. When I was in about grade nine, junior high, I actually got my aunt to help me put red, bright red, like red red, streaks in my hair, and I didn't tell my parents because my parents were pretty strict, and so I would walk around my house with a hoodie on with the hood up for about two weeks until um, one day my dad finally saw it, and all he had to say was, oh, so you dropped some ketchup on your head, because my dad thinks he's pretty funny. <laughs> I used to be obsessed with Brandy Norwood. Um, you know, uh, Moesha, her first song was I Wanna Be Down, all of that. I used to be so obsessed with her. I actually have an autographed picture of her, which I don't know where it is, but I have it here somewhere and I wish I could show you guys, but yeah, I have an autographed picture of Brandy and I used to be super obsessed with her. I would buy all her CDs. I bought every single single she put out, um, all of that. 
I would cut out magazine articles and that kind of stuff. I was obsessed with Brandy. My favorite movie of all time is Never Been Kissed with Drew Barrymore. I love watching romantic comedies and action comedies, but I can't watch any scary movies, again, because I get scared of everything. While I was taking photography courses in college, I was working in a photo lab as a photo lab technician. I am a trained photographer. I currently work as a visual merchandising slash window dressing manager for a pretty well-known company. And uh, I think this is the last fact, number 25, is that I'm currently trying to break into um, engagement photography as well as like video photography, uh, video, engagement videos kind of thing as well, so that is All right, that. well I think that was 25 facts about me. They were all kind of jumbled together. I'll put a counter on each one so that I can see if it's actually 25 and if I missed any, I'll add some more to another video. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys have a little bit more information about me and know who I am a little bit more. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I will talk to you guys in my next video. All right, bye. Posted in the back, diamond fangs in my grill.